Well, I think this man will tell you more about the history uh, because he started the band way back in 1961. Really? So, so you know more than that. Uh, well, way back in 1961 when I was young and good looking. I'm just good looking now. <laughs> um, sort of bought a guitar because a mate of mine started to learn to play and I thought if he can do it, I can do it. Got a second hand guitar and sort of put a band together. We got involved in a competition which was run back then. They were looking for the, the group locally that had the closest to the Mercy sound, whatever that was. And we played movie houses from Rampant into Springs every Saturday afternoon. There was no movie town news. I don't remember his movie town. Um, <laughs> there was no new band on. And it was lovely, you know, uh, cinema stages. You got that much. I'm not sure how the drummer set up. We didn't see a lot of him. I think he was behind the curtain, but anyway. And eventually came down to four bands. And we were the first South African bands to actually appear on the old Coliseum stage. And as luck would have it, we won the competition. Part of which was a recording contract. And we recorded two singles, uh, which tended to get us a little better known. And the third one we did way back in 65 was a song called um, Come Back Silly Girl. And that got up to number two on the hit parade, which was our first ever hit parader. And it was incredible because after that, every single that we recorded actually got on the hit parade. It was amazing stuff. To the point where a gentleman did a survey recently and it was only Tom Jones, the Hollies and ourselves who had a song on the hit parade every year for six consecutive years, 1965 to 1970. Every January, only three artists had a song in the local hit parade. So yeah, it was quite amazing stuff. Okay. Yeah, I know it, uh, it was uh, recorded in 68 and it became a hit in January 69. First and of February. Yeah. And it still holds the record, by the way, for the song by any other local band or, or artist that had the longest run in the hit parade. Uh, great, great yep. to me. It was 38 weeks, and uh, of course, I think it was 27 weeks, and then it, then it went out. Well, it was then, 12 weeks then, initially. Yeah, then Katrina and came then out. Katrina and it went mad. And then, of course, uh, the song was done in, 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 in the movie Katrina. Then it went straight back up into the heat break. So, all in all, it was 38 weeks. So, when it still holds the record, as yeah, well, the song was very huge. I mean, it won the band four gold discs. Yeah. And also released in Turkey, uh, Turkey, uh, Germany, and the United States. Yes, yeah. But that smell of perfume. Well, let me tell you, uh, it wasn't easy because three years ago, this lady by the name of Edith Lewitz got this idea and came to me and said to me, "I want to reform. Let's reform the staccatos." And I said to her. Uh, not a bad idea, but you can't do the staccatos without the founder member, the man who started it all. So I said, you better go and talk to the man. And because I know, oh he's, because I know he's retired, he's, he hasn't picked up an instrument in, like uh, since the time of Peter Tiff when he came over the mountain. So then she, okay. then I know she, she chatted to, to you. No, she chatted, For three years she, she chatted, chatted to Ryan me. To try and convince him, yeah, it was three years. Threats to and you don't want him to start up again. And I gave her a hard time and I said to her, no, it's, I don't want to do it either. I actually said to her, no, I don't want to do it. I says, and if we do do it, I says, you've got to get this man on board. I am not going to do it without him. You can't do it without him. You can't. So Good old Steve loves me. The deciding factor. The factor, y'all. Yeah. I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> On my birthday. That's the easiest thing I ever did. Come on, baby. 
We did yeah. the right mix of talent. Yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> and I mean, if you if you listen to all our CD, uh, all, which, which is, by the way, is the first CD that's uh, it's coming out in, in 47 years. Uh, I think the last time the band recorded was in 73, was Cinnamon Girl. That was the last time they were in a, in a recording studio. So this is, we, you know, we old dinosaur rockers. So now we've got a, a lot of youngsters in the band. And Speak for yourself, John. So we have to... Uh, <laughs> I'm sure those youngsters can't keep up, eh? No, no. No, they got no chance. No, 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 no. You can take this as bragging, but whatever. No, they, they, they just... They just don't have the balls. I mean, I mean, this guy here, uh, I, I was a little worried. I thought, mm, you know... He's, he's, a, he's a little bit older than me. Is he going to keep up the face? And I mean, he shocked me. I mean, he's all over the bloody place and trying to uh, get in, into the uh, our backing vocalist, which is uh, well. If you know, trust him, you would think the young guys would do things like that. Not the the only time we do slow down is when the chicks who are chasing us are lagging behind. Then we slow down a bit just to let them catch up. No, and you know what? You know yeah. what I love about the band now. Can I tell you what excites me? Yes, about the band? We go and we perform. You know, like at the Centurion Theatre or the Ravonia Barnyard, uh, Emperor's Barnyard, and people come in. And I've had this on a number of occasions. That people come in and they thought, ah, you know, they were good. They, they old now, uh, and and. I love it when they say, we never expected this. This is the best we've ever... I mean, the one woman from Centurion Theatre, and they've had all the top acts, they, came to me and said to me, this is the best band that we've ever had. And they've had the cream of the crop. There. So these are all uh, compliments, you know, which, uh, you know, which excites me. We have to adjust as well. Eh? You must remember, we diners or rockers. So, so uh, we also now go to, you know, times have changed. Eh? Music has changed, um, and 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 this is what excites me, is because when I look at the audience, we were supposed to, because we're doing our, our stuff as older music, 60s, 70s, 80s music, we we were supposed to uh, attract a certain audience, and that's not really happening. We're getting a, a, a fair amount of young people coming to our concerts, and that is what is exciting. I met Steve actually uh, approximately six years ago and I've been managing him for five years and um, it's been my honour to manage the band for the last year and a half. Um, they are currently working on the Barnyard Circuit and we're very, very chuffed with that. Um, we're having full hour standing ovation shows all around. So we cannot wait for this period to end so that we can back, get back onto the stage again. Um, currently the band exists of obviously the young Branda Gassik which is the youngest mem member in the band, 76 years old. Brian has been performing for 59 years. Steve Ashley is now uh, 71 years old, been performing for 52 time. years. Um, also my age, and I think also the year in which Cry to Me was recorded, 68. So it's a good, very good year for us. Our lead guitarist is uh, uh, Jakob Smith. Uh, on keyboards we've got Connie Ben Klager, keyboards and sax. Then we've got D Joe Day on vocals. Uh, Trevor Muller on bass and on um, drums we have got Mias Ross. He was to fuse the talent of the two legends with the energy of a young band. And I think that is the difference that we're making in the industry. The fact that we've got a vibrant, ass kicking band on that stage. Well, initially the idea was to do one or two shows just to show everyone that we can and uh, I never anticipated that it was going to be such a huge success. So the future plans is obviously to, to stage this band for as long as the guys are going and I've got news for them, it's definitely going to be the next 10 years. 10 years is nothing, that's alright. <laughs> I'll come quietly. <laughs> Well, for the guys that's not on Facebook, um, I'm sure they've seen all the staccato's video videos gone viral lately. So my contact details will be at the end of each video. Or otherwise, they can join us um, on the staccato's fan page on Facebook. And then all of our contact details is there as well.
We actually very very proud to announce that uh, the Staccatos has just finished their first ever CD, uh, their first recording in 47 years. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the last recording was Cinnamon Gold in 1973. So yep. The, the guys that are taking a job in studio, and I cannot wait to release the CD. And Cinnamon Gold did so well that the SABC banned it. Well, the CD would have been released at the end of March and then came lockdown. So uh, we're just playing our time right, and but we're sure that we'll be releasing it soon. That, of course, we're doing a whole lot of the old staccato songs, which we are obviously now, uh, you know, just modernized it a little bit. And more. Obviously, times have changed. So, but we try to stick to as close as we can to the original stuff. Um, so we've done a, a, a whole lot of the uh, staccato songs, plus we do some uh, covers eh, of stuff yeah. that we actually like, you know, that the two of us really like. I mean, the CD as it is at the moment is basically all the songs we do on the show. So if we do a show and people want to buy a CD, they can take it home and there's the show they just saw. Sometime before we all turn 90 when this lockdown thing finishes, we would like to do a new CD. Something with completely new songs and everything else. But um, we're waiting for Cyril to let us know when we can do this, you know. I know I say it every day, but may I just repeat again that I'm extremely proud of these two legends and what they've achieved. Um, and how they conduct themselves on stage and uh, for the band at home. Guys, we're extremely proud of you as well and we cannot wait to get all of you together on the stage again.